So today we're playing some Gluck NES games. So I got some uh, information here about Gluck, but this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've known about these games because you would see them. I'd see them on eBay, you know, 20 years ago. Or you'd see them possibly at conventions and whatnot. They were like the... I was about to say they were the gray carts. Uh, they were gray, but they were like the, they were they were weird looking ones. Cause you know you have like color dreams and wisdom tree and all that kind of stuff, and you see all these weird cartridges. I remember finding uh, one with a weird like end part and be like, what is this? And that that ended up being a, a Sachin game, which was uh, Little Red Hood. So I was into all these kind of. Um, you know, uh, NES games from other countries, and a lot of collectors, people that collect this stuff, don't, um, a lot of times they're not interested in this stuff, because this sort of goes outside the realm of, like, the, you know, the stuff that was released officially by Nintendo in the United States. Usually these are, these are outside of the realm of stuff that's, like, counted, you know, for most NES collectors. Um, but I've always been somebody who's like, but these exist, right? Here they are. They might not be the, like the licensed ones, but the, they're, you know, then you have the a category of unlicensed, like, uh, you know, crazy creatures or something. And then you start getting into bootlegs and whatnot. And um, when you get all the way down to the you know, to the end, you start getting down to stuff like this. Uh, thank you, Twisted Green 42 for the sub, and Josh Philly Boy as well. Thanks, guys, for the sub. Anyway, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, I, I got a uh, batch of all the Gluck uh, video games, so we're gonna check these out. I believe they were uh, games that were released in Spain, and you can cor correct me on any of this uh, if I am wrong. And uh, they would put them out, and they I think they sold well there because they were in the Spanish language, um, so people would want to buy them because, you know, they could read it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And I like, this is the logo of the guy, and I think his game is this, Gluck the Thunder Warrior, and I believe that that's him right there. He is... Uh, Gluck the the bug or something. The Derb 86, thank you very much for the tier one sub. So you guys know about this already. If you know any other history about it, you know, let me know. I don't know. Um Mike starts streaming mid-sentence. Um well you probably by the time it the stream comes online, I might be in the middle of already having my conversation. That's not my problem. That's the fact that, you know, it doesn't go out to you guys quick enough. Um, you can watch this later on YouTube, and uh, I'm sure my computer recorded it right from the beginning, so you will you can check it out later. Uh, Mazarki, thank you very much for the sub as well. X68000 games one of these days. Yes. If you didn't see it years ago, a few years ago, I did Cho Ren Sha 68K, uh, so I have done a little of that, uh, and I love that game, but um, one thing about that is I don't know what the good games on that are, but, you know, that's what doing those type of uh, streams are about. Like, I just did a video on the ZX Spectrum, and check that out if you haven't. Um, you know, you play a bunch of these games and see what's good and see what's not good, and I would definitely like to do that uh, for the... X68000. Thank you very much for that sub. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, let's start with this, because this is the mascot character, right? And let me flip this over now. Alright, so here we got... There he is. It's our hero. It's Mr. Gluck himself. I mean, look at that right there. So you're going to say that this doesn't count as an NES game, right? Collectors of NES games would say that, oh, this, this doesn't matter, this doesn't exist, you know? It's, it's interesting, but I guess I get that if I was just somebody who was only interested in collecting 
you have to cut it off at some point, because I think they like to have um, an end point. Be like, okay, well, there's like, what is there, like 650 or something? I don't know the exact number of like the licensed games. That's a nicer number to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to collect that many, as opposed to, oh, then I have to get every, uh, you know, every PAL game, every Sachin game, every, you know, on and on and on, because then it never ends, you know, so that's what happens. And this looks like Ninja Gaiden or something. Is this going to be a Ninja Gaiden clone? I have no idea. All right, here we go. There he is. Come on, it takes forever to start. Whoa, what the hell? That's like a really bad uh, wipe or uh, transition that you would do if, if, with video editing. That's the type of uh, you know transition you don't want to use. If you're making like, imagine you're you're watching a, like uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and they go from one scene to the next scene, and like that happens. You'll be like, this is oh wow, this is also like. Anyway, there he is. That is uh, Gluck the Thunder Warrior. So on the NES, your mascots on the NES, we know Mario, Link, Samus. You know and. Uh, Gluck the Thunder Warrior is uh, your other your other one that people for some reason don't talk about that much. I don't know, but he, but he is one of them. He's one of the. How am I supposed to do that? These controls are terrible. I want to mention. This takes way too long to fade in and fade out. That's right. I'll be complaining about this. Uh... The, by the way, this is like really delayed, like, my setup is not delayed, like the game itself is delayed because you hit the button and it takes him like a while to throw the ball, whatever he has. Uh, Shulizer, thank you very much for the sub. Can you find one good thing about this game, says R. Marsh. Um, It's on a great system. Is that a cop out? Um, by the way, I like to say, I got my PlayStation 5 back and it works now. Sony sent it back to me. I started playing uh, Returnal, it's kind of cool. So that's, uh, th this, the jumping is, like, horrible. Alright, let's try this. You like how I can't even... This is one of these things now I'm gonna have to try to explain to you guys. How, like, like, why or how the controls are bad. It's just, like, you can, you can hardly jump over shit. Just take my word on this, the controls are awful. Alright. Does this thing die ever? Oh. Alright, so, you, oh, it did eventually die. Alright, so. Wait, what? Alright, well I didn't know he could do that. Wait, I can't move now? What the fuck is going- oh. What the fuck? Oh, is it momentum based? Alright, hang on a second. Uh, no! Alright, um... 
You know, literally, I've known about Gluck video games since I was in college. Um, 22 something years ago. So I've known about these for a long time. That this is how this is how long it's like that Atari 5200 stream. This is like a stream that's been a long time coming. I really just want it. Not that it it'll, it might not be a good stream, and this might not even be interesting to anybody. It's just something that I wanted to do because I've seen these games forever. This is very much just for me and my own curiosity. If you don't care about these Gluck games, I wouldn't blame you. Nobody really knows about them, and nobody talks about them. Nobody cares. All right, how do you, how, how? Bramble Scram, thank you very much for the sub, and Steve Steveley also subbed, and Broom Hatter, thank you for the sub. So I don't, I don't know how to get by this. All right, I'm gonna use this, uh, here. All right, I will now be taking ideas from the chat on how the fuck do you guys think I could get up to that? Because I have tried jumping, I've tried running and jumping. Hold down and super jump. Shit. Oh, wait, how did I just do that? Oh, oh my God. There's a fucking double jump. That's it. All right, I didn't know there was a double jump. Well, that makes it a lot better. Maybe this game's great, actually. There we go. All right. Now we got something. Oh, this game's awesome now. Maybe better than Mario 3, don't you think? I think probably better. Who, who knew we were gonna find a game that's better than Mario 3 today? There's gonna be a guy later, he's gonna be like, write me like an angry letter. How could you possibly think that this is better? The Mario 3. There are those people out there. It's very sad. But this is nothing new. It's been going on forever. We did a uh, Chronologically Confused many years ago. You already know what I'm going to say, I'm sure. And James is like, oh, yo, uh... Naked Gun, 33 and a third, whatever happened to the other movies? And they're like, you, you idiot! But like, not even, not like in a joking way. They're just like, you're fucking stupid! There's obviously not 30 other movies. Yeah. Wow. Rye Guy, thank you for the sub. 1992 was the released year unlicensed. Okay. Yeah, I think they stopped doing these Gluck games in 1994. Mike, this is from Horse Baloney. You normally play retro games. Occasionally, on James and Mike Mondays, you play newer generation games, Goat Simulator, etc. Any plans to play more newer games? Have you ever been to my YouTube channel and seen... I have a playlist of modern games that I play. play. Let's see. Let's see what the last one was that I played. What was the last modern game? And let's see when it was. Cluster Truck. Uh, about three weeks ago, and I was doing uh, Super Mario 3D World and Sky Force Anniversary. Played that one for 11 hours. Mighty Goose. 
I played a whole bunch of games on Steam. I did a whole video about it. Played uh, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. I played Shredder's Revenge. I played Super Hot. I played No Man's Sky. I'm, and I just literally mentioned, was it I just talking about this? Returnal. I'm probably going to play Returnal at some point here. Classic Mike Kate, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Retro King Dan, thank you also for the sub. Mario Doom was sweet. Yes, Mario Doom. Well, technically, I guess, could you consider that new? I mean, it's a new, newer mod. And it, it's using, I think it was using, like, the Project Brutality, like, 3.0 shit, which is new. So, like, in a way, that's new, sort of, even though it's old Doom. That's one of those weird... What am I supposed... If you ever get the chance, play this, because I want you to see what the how, like, not good the controls are. They're just, um, they're just, like, not right. I don't know how to describe it. You just have to see for yourself. Play it yourself and see. It's one of those things, it's hard to describe without, like, if I could hand you the controller and then you could test it out yourself, you'd be like, oh, I see. I don't know how to ar ar articulate it. Let's do this shit. I'm gonna use that shit on the other hand when it comes over. No! Fucking cocksucker. Alright, this is the furthest I've been. Oh. Why does it take so many hits to kill these fucking things? And you can't throw them like really fast. Like it's not like that. It's like it's just really like fucking like delayed. Oh. All right, what's that? What the hell? Oh. Hey. Oh, is that life? All right, here we go. Don't. Piece of shit. Now nah, I don't have any more of that though. Ugh. How, do you, how do you like this game? This is what I decided to play today. We got a PS5 here. I got Returnal. I got uh, Demon Souls. We're playing Gluck. Gluck NES games. You see how much I love streaming? It's the, it's the best thing. It's the most fun you can possibly have. Fuck! If you go back to the beginning, you're going off. the Thunder Warrior. That's the start of this stream. This is the batch of games we gotta go through, alright? Pantera, thank you very much for the sub. Mike, who do you think had a uh, bigger dong, Mario or Luigi? We've talked about this before. Mario has a very long, 
thin penis, and Luigi has a short, fat penis. We've discussed this many times, and you would think you would think it wouldn't be like that, but it's, isn't that weird? Isn't that funny? K Train thirty nine. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Raider Jody one subbed as well. Thank you. We're getting all these subs. Appreciate that very much. Analog nineteen seventy five. It always is. I'm I'm very. Uh, you could say I'm very anal about that. He asked me if my asshole is clean. And and it, it is always clean because I'm very anal about that. See see what I did there. I tried. Um, Hey, Mike, how much do you bench? Um, so, uh, so, uh, I, so the actual Mike, if you want to know from actual Mike, he's like doing squats and benches at the gym right now. I'm just, you know, filling in for him. Okay. Uh, all right. We're going to now start from the beginning. We got Adam and Eve for Gluck Video NES Games. Hey, hey, Alan. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. What the hell is this? Adam and Eve by Gluck Video for NES. What do you mean? Creature form, also sub. Thank you. All right, so here we go. So this game is essentially balloon fight. No, it's not. It's inspired. Don't you love it when they, when they do that? What, don't you love it when somebody rips something off? like really fucking hard and then they go it's inspired by it oh that's right <laughs> it's inspired by uh-huh that's how you get that's how you get away with that that's how you get away with completely ripping off somebody it's inspired by it mm. Is it? This is like... Or I guess, you know, it's got a bit of joust to it. A bit of, bit of balloon fight, a bit of joust. It's one of those. Uh, gotta fill up the balloon. There you go. And it just, does this just go on forever? Uh, now, do those hurt me? The, or, I guess I'm gonna find out. Oh, did that just hurt me? Here, I'm gonna say, it does. Okay, that pops the balloon down a little bit. There you go, I got, I got the apple. I got apple. Oh my god. You know, I'm not that big of a, a joust guy. I never really was. Um, but I have to say, I would much rather play joust than play this. And you know, Balloon, Balloon Fight is an okay game. Not my favorite NES game or anything, but uh, I would rather play Balloon Fight than play this. Okay, that's, we're doing, this is great so far. These are going to be real good games. All right, uh, Magicka. Magic Carpet by Megasoft. So the, the developer here is Megasoft, and then I guess the publisher is Gluck Video Entertainment System. If you end up seeing this like later on YouTube, if you're watching this, if it's five years later or whatever, and you 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 happen to see this, leave me a comment. And let me know if you uh, if you had any of this stuff grow growing up. Were you you know were you from Spain? Did you have this stuff? I'd love to know the history you know behind it. Like where did you get the games? Was there a shop you went out to? What was that experience like? You go out to some shop and somewhere or like you order order it like from an order form or something like I really wonder what it was like like back then I mean like you know so this was what like 1991 or something so it's 1991 and you're in Spain how where do you, what do you do to get this game 
Where are you going? Where are you going? What's the place? Cause like, I don't know. Was there like a uh, KB? <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. How did it work? I'm always interested in that. You know, in that kind of stuff. Like how it worked in other other countries. And I think about like. Um, you know, like PAL games and, and whatnot, and PAL B and all, all this stuff. And it's like, sure, I could sit here and play the ROMs and everything, or you could buy you could buy the cartridges off of eBay or whatever. Like you can you can get a hold of this stuff, but and, and play it, and that, that's all well and good. But it's left up to people and stories from back then to know how did it work as far as like actually getting the games. And I, and I wonder that not just for this. But for, for everything, you know? Like, if you wanted to get, um, I don't know, you know, uh, like, what, like what, were, what were the sto stores? They had, like, different stores and everything, right? Is this a boss? Oh, by the way, this is a shmup. Which is interesting. Do I have anything else? I have nothing else. So here we have a horizontal uh, STG. You know, all you got, all you uh, like, real serious uh, shmup guys out there. Um, this guy with a good, a good channel. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen him. He's a, a shmup junkie. He makes good videos about shmups. I like to. I want shmup junkie to review the Gluck. Let him know. Mike said he has to review all of the Gluck shmups. That's the video I want. Because <laughs> he makes videos on, like, the, um, usually on, like, the good games, you know? Do you think it'd be a waste of time to talk about that? Why, why not? Why can't you talk about it? This is a shmup. There you go. You, it literally has no... What would the review even be? Here's my, here's my review. Okay, so you can't do anything else other than hit A, and you have this really delayed... Blast of what? It's a he's shooting an arrow. You can't like pull back and hold back the bow. There's no bo like bombs or anything to speak of. You know, it's just, like generic music. But there's bats because every video game has to have bats. I mean, there's still bats though. There's still bats. Oh my god, what game, like, I'm trying to think, what does not have bats? I mean, how about uh, uh, Excite Bike 64? That probably doesn't have bats. Maybe it does, though. What if you're, what if you're, like, going around, like, the woods or something in, like, Excite Bike 64 and then there's, like, bats flying in the sky? There could be, who knows? Top, top ten no bats game, games with no bats. This is horrible. All right, moving on. Whew. We have found nothing good yet. All right, uh, here, here's this one. Let's see if it works. I hope these all work. Magic block. All right, we got like a puzzle game or something. Oh God. Oh, nothing I love more than slide puzzles. Where am I supposed to get this to? Like, I can't even move this anymore. Is that the end of it? Or did Izzy die? Oh, did I win? I guess I won. Alright. So, l legit, my least favorite thing in video games is slide puzzles. If I hold- oh, if you hold it down, it goes faster. Alright. Or like it's like pipe dream shit. These are all like kind of like clones of other shit, huh? You fucking cock sucker. All right, so if I like, do you want to like give me like half a second to? Fucking cock sucker. That's death? How do you beat it? No. 
or never again. Never again, never again. Auto scrolling. Yeah, how, how you guys liking this, these games in this stream? All right, here we go. Cat. Dog. How do I get these guys off of me? So this is kind of like Pac-Man without the dots, essentially. We have Pac-Man, but we're bugs. Cockroaches? N nothing more appealing than good old cockroach. Cockroaches in a toy shop. It's my favorite kind of game genre. They say, Mike, what's your favorite game? Is it Zelda? No. I like cockroaches in toy shops with lions and frozen penguins do we have to actually wait for this hey look it's the heart from Zelda <laughs> you want to end the stream now we could end it now we could just we could just call it you get it right I was gonna go through all the gluck games what if I just end it now? We can just stop. You get the idea, right? So is it the same, like, level? Every time, they can't be bothered to make new levels? I have seven lives. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this level, and we'll see if there's a new... I mean, to be fair, how many levels do you have to go until Pac-Man has a new level? Right? Right? I thought that would that kill them? That like sliding thing kills them. Do I have to go like down here and cover that? Is that what's missing? Like, I gotta get rid of this fucking snake here. Fuck! You've gotta go! So a cockroach can eat a snake. Since when? I didn't know of this about cockroaches. All right. Now, will the next level be different? Usually it's two in Pac-Man, right? And then you go to the next one. So if the, this next level, if, it, if this is a Pac-Man clone, which I suspect it is, look how long this takes. How you doing? It's not different. Hang on a second. Is every fucking level of this the same? <sighs> Speaking of Zelda, what I'm curious about is original Doom in same vein as the original Zelda for you, as in Doom is now so boring to you that you can only enjoy it by playing mods and stuff, but not the original game. Um... Doom, not as bad as Zelda, uh, but, uh, yeah, I would much rather play, like, uh, Brutal Doom or Project Brutality or something over the vanilla games at this point. Not that I can't enjoy, um, those, though. Like, you know what, though? Like, Doom 2, let's say, is, like, a, that's, like, a pretty long campaign to, like, get through the, all of, like, Doom 2. Um, so, no, 
it's not I wouldn't say they're boring but I would just say that I would say if I played Zelda 1 the regular game yeah it's kind of boring at this point um, I kind of need it to be like a randomizer or a hack Doom I'm not going to say I'd be bored by it but it would be a lot better to play one of the mods or hacks or something if it was a decent one um, or, or have have it have like Project Brutality or something. So, uh, it, yeah, I'd rather play it that way. Um, I one more. This gets one more level. One more. Or should I just give up now? I should probably give up now. Let's see if I can even do one more level. I'm just curious if it ever changes. Like that, I, I give this more uh, more patience with this than probably most people, right? Wouldn't 99.9% .9 of humanity have turned this off already? Do you think there's somebody who like sat here and like played this all the way through? Somebody did, didn't they? Somebody fucking played this whole thing, huh? It's a fucking screw. Fuck. God damn it. There's a guy out there. What if there's a guy out there that plays this every day? He's like, I only play Gluck video Pac-Man clone. All right, this is it. If, if it doesn't change, this game is gone. And then you gotta wait for the hearts. Is the hearts like the loading screen so that it can load the next level, which is the same exact level? Let us load the level that's the same level. That's like good coding, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it, it, it is different because now it's uh, the color of urine. All right, get this out of my fucking face. M Maya the bee? Who's the friendly little bee? Oh, what? That's not Maya little, the bee anymore. All right, there's Maya the bee. Buzzing oh so happily. Buzzing here and buzzing there. Busy buzzing everywhere. The, the chat said, you're a sick fuck. What do you mean? Look how beautiful this is. It's a nice little uh, rainbow. Maya the Bee, it's sweet and it's cute. <laughs> Much better than Mario 3, don't you think? Don't you think this is better than Mario 3? I do. That's my impression of the guy leaving the comment. So we have another shmup now. This better be part of the, sh the sh big shmup review of the Gluck games that I will be expecting to come out within uh, by the end of October. No, I'll say by the end of November, because people like to do horror stuff, right, in October. By the end of November, I expect to see that. P. Oh. You know what? So far, does, this, does, does the P stand for playable? Because so far, this is the most playable not saying it's good. Just saying in comparison to what we've played so far, this, the, what we're looking at here, is the best this has so far. Now, why is the title screen Maya the Bee, though? L like, for Nickelodeon? Like, what the fuck? What is that? This has nothing to do with Maya the Bee. Now, do you think there's bosses? I should beat this game. 
I want a boss fight. I want any kind of fight. I want something to happen in this game besides what's happening. Like... What if this is it? There, you, there's no score, by the way. No score. Can I kill that? No. Wait, is that... Do you think I get that? Is, would that kill me? Or is that like an upgrade? I wonder. I don't know. Oh, one up. Boy, oh boy. I'm gonna touch it. All right, that does kill you. I wanted to know. I thought maybe that was an upgrade of some sort, but now we know. I'm moving slower now, so when I got the S, that was for speed. Yes. There's P, that's power. P for power. S for speed. There's speed. Thank you. Um, all right, boss. What? I didn't know you jump. I didn't know you fucking jump, motherfucker! Die! 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 I'm gonna beat that spider. I'm gonna beat him. Let's go. Let's defeat that spider. This is this is what's important to me, okay? I risk my life do these streams some days. We got maniacs around here. So, anyway, uh, if you're just joining, we're playing Gluck NES games, which are, uh, like, unlicensed bootleg things that were from, uh, things, uh, games from, uh, Spain. Something that I've known about for a long time. Now, uh, there, I was saying earlier, uh, I, I'd also someday like to do a, a Sachin stream or, you know, any, any uh, you know, other country. I, I want to play, I would like to eventually play every single NES game that exists, except for sports. I won't be doing that. But every other one... All the rest. Remember, you go to like uh, thrift uh, game stores and thrift shops and flea markets and stuff like that, and you'd be like, "Oh, this guy's selling retro games. I wonder what he's got." Oh, that that cardboard box there—it says NES on it. Let's let's take a look and see. And then you look in, and it's like it's it's like only sports stuff. Say, like, oh, yeah, you got your Madden, you got your Madden 98, Madden 99, all that shit. So, like, honest to God question, I have a, like, I, wait, 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 I got a serious question about that. So, I'm not a sports guy, but, so, but let's say that you are, let's say, and maybe some one of you guys is, you know, in here, and maybe you can answer this question for me. So, if you are... It, like, let's say you, that you're somebody that had, you play the Madden games and you like them and whatever, and, that, and that's fine. So, you know, every year they release another one, right? It's like Madden 98, Madden 99, Madden, you know, 2005, 2006, 2007, or whatever. So, do you, like, do you just forget about, do you just get the new game every year or every like couple years you just get the new one and then you completely like forget about it? Like let's say that right now you're playing, I don't know, like Madden 2022 or whatever. Do you ever go back to like Madden 2017? Or is that just wiped off the board? Like you're like, oh nobody plays that anymore, it's just the newest one. Like how come there's one like every single fucking year there's like, it's like new? And, like, do you ever go back to the old ones? Do they go back... The people that play those, do they ever go back to the old ones? I guess that's the question. 
Mike, you already have a 10-hour compilation of NES games on YouTube, and I'm totally down for more regardless of the system. I love horrible, terrible quality games. Uh, I know I have a 10... You know that 10-hour compilation is taken from, like, 40-plus hours of me playing games? That was just edited down. So, so sometimes I take the streams and we do edited down versions because a lot of people are like, why don't you do edited... I don't have the time to watch, you know, uh, 8 million hours of, uh, you know, you playing games. So I once in a while I try to do edited versions of stuff, and I will be doing more of that. So let's see, let's see if anybody... Yes, new Madden comes out. You don't touch the old ones except for nostalgia. So you just throw it in the garbage. Really? Is that how it works? All previous Madden games become coasters. Now, is this just you guys joking or is this a serious... I want, like, a serious answer. Does anybody, like, actually know? You don't play them anymore, but when you played it, you always stayed up to date with the latest, with the latest ones. So, so, so that is true. You pretty much, if you're playing those, you probably stay with the Madden people who are probably not watching this. I know that you know Mike's doing squats right now at the gym, and he's got he's got Madden streams on his uh, on his phone going. What the fuck is Gluck? It's this. Do you look below me? Do you see? It says Gluck video. Do you see that fucking bug? Have you? Wait, 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 wait. Who said that? Uh, a thermo bore, Ther thermo. Listen, had you never played Gluck, the Thunder Warrior, on NES? Why are you even here? You don't know about that. How do you not know about that? Hey guys, look, it's the it's the bricks from Super Mario Brothers. What the fuck was that? Come on, motherfucker. Also, why is this the hardest fucking guy ever? Is this even doing anything? I tried hitting like select and both buttons together and like other stuff. I'm like. Oh, wow. He just takes a ton of hits. Who says 
that my streams aren't bright and cheery. Mike, Mike, you're salty today. Do you see how like cute and lovely and friendly and nice this is? When you come here, I want you to feel safe and good about yourself. I want you to think only positive thoughts. Think about being a better person. We only have positive thoughts here and positive things. Also, we try to stay as calm as possible. This is all about R&R. &R. No, not Rambo and Rocky. Rest and relaxation. Isn't this relaxing? Isn't it wonderful? You got some nice roses and sunflowers down here at the bottom. Nice, freshly cut grass. It's a beautiful, sunny day. The butterflies are flying. The birds are chirping. The bees are buzzing. And we're all friends. And we're all friendly. And we all love each other. Isn't that right? Isn't it? I love you, and you love me. Isn't that right? Isn't it? I wonder what the boss of this stage is gonna be. What do you think? So we had a spider before. And let's, let's take guesses. No looking it up now. Boss is Dildo. You're Dildo. <laughs> Millipede. Scrotum. Oh, may, it might be a scrotum. Is it gonna have the, 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 the stitching? down the middle of the <laughs> ball sack. I, the, by the way, if you're just joining, this is, um, playing some NES games today. Stitching. That's right, Yake. Thank you, Sammy. I try. Elbow Fuckface says no. Ball sack skin line. Yes. Five hundred and forty five people watching this. Hi. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Look at the rainbow. Isn't it nice? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Twisted says that he resubbed. Is that what it takes? You want to talk about balls? Is that what it takes to get subs? You don't have to sub. But I pre I appreciate that you do. It's nice. But he's like he's like no 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 no. Listen. I was not going to sub, but when you started talking about like the the like the balls I, I had no choice. I had to. I felt as though deep in my soul that I had to support this channel as much as I could because balls. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. It's because you want the emotes? Oh. <laughs> okay. Moving on. What do, what do we think it's going to be? Balls gurgling. It'll be morph moth. Who the fuck is that? It'll okay a moth. 
it, it'll be morph moth. Sounds like a He-Man side character. All right, who's it gonna be now? Will it be Morph Moth? Uh, it, it's... Caterpillar. Why is his hit points so much lower than Spider? It was like it was a bunch of balls put together. Yeah, it wasn't just two balls. It was six balls So there you go. Are there power-ups? I have the power-up right here. Look see What do you feel like you need more power-ups than that? What do you what do you think this is? Gradius 5 By the way, speaking of games that they need to re-release, they're always re-releasing games and shit. When are they re-releasing Gradius 5 on a modern thing? Put that on the Switch, please. Thanks. What the fuck? What? How about an extra life? Uh oh, fuck. FUCK! We have a lot more games to go. I'm gonna go to the next game. Alright. Moving on. Caltron. Alien Nation. Wasn't that a show, like in the 90s? Remember that? Uh, Dan, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, ooh. It's like uh, the, uh, the Game Over Worm. Uh, fuck is the name of that game? Or like a Harrier. Oh, you can just hold it down. Okay. F. U. Jetson? Wait, what? <laughs> what are you? Is that your Mr. Spacely impression? Fuck you, Jetson! Uh, we got some gift subs that just went out to the community. These are from Indie Dev Guy. They went out to Condom Man X. The guy on the cliff, spooky music, freaking sweet 84 and Nintendo head. If you guys got a gift started from Indie Dev Guy, let him know you appreciate it. Thank you once again. The Createm story. In the early 1990s, educators and scientists on the third planet, Earth, became alarmed that the inhabitants were not thinking for themselves anymore, so they created a new 3D video computer game to develop powers of logical thinking and inventiveness, and they planned to make it fun so that the more you enjoyed yourself, the smarter you became. They called it Createm, a universe in your mind. 
The theory behind Creatum is I, I development contrary to the popular belief, the well-known IQ does not measure level of intelligence that can be increased by the right of mental ex exercise. On the other hand, development is concerned with the mental uh, abilities which such realistic development aims at the dramatic increases self-control of your mental powers and IQ measures that you have the while in development maximizes how the abilities enhance powers and analysis, imagination and deduction upon new universe unparalleled possibilities. Creatives have been invented to help you develop your creative mental potential, your powers of observation, and your capacity for logical objective thought. Are you stuck amongst the trees? Do you follow solidly well-worn track tradition of education, the wood, to seek the forest valley, and let creations excite and stimulate your mind and planets in the universe? Allow this invention, development, and institute prepare and our children expanding the future just as we first learn to crawl and walk and run and jump. We should be exposed, e exercise our mental faculties, always gain in a power ability a according and development. Look for other creative games as they appear when. Cubert? <laughs> it's Cubert. Me dumb. Me stupid. Destroyer. That's... They put extra time into the thought of that. Destroyer. Hey, you can make any video game you would like to make for our new video game system. Now, I heard y it was your dream to make a video game. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. It is my, it, it, my dream to, it is my dream to make a video game. Okay, we're giving you the opportunity to develop a game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. What are you gonna do? I, I make it called Destroyer. Okay, and what is and then what uh, is the game gonna be? Spaceship, shoot in space. Oh, good. I don't think that's been done before. Good job. We let you do any fucking thing that you wanted, and you made Destroyer a space shooter. Jimmy, you're fired. Let's try F-15 City War. Sounds like Top Gun. Here we go. Ah. So you see the shadow on the ground? That uh, indicates my my position. That's how you know this is a quality game. They put they put thought and effort into that right there. That shadow. Imagine that. That means that means that the NES is so smart it knows the position of the sun 
in coordination with your jet so that it can cast that shadow. I believe that that's how that works. your time with these crappy games. You you know that they're bad. You just don't get it, man. You just don't get it. If you have to ask, you'll never know. Why would you not want to play this? You don't understand? Look at this. Look how fucking awesome this is. I am a fucking pilot. This rep represents being a fucking hero. I, I, I feel as though I am a fucking hero. I'm, I'm saving the world. You see all these people in these buildings? I, I'm saving their fucking lives. Okay? Why would you play it? Because I, I don't know. Maybe I wanted to save all their lives. Maybe I wanted to be a fucking hero. Did you ever think of that? This is bad. Moving on. We played Gluck, the Thunder Warrior. Um, now we play Gr Gran Adventure uh, Submarina. Here we go. Sea of Dreamland? Is that what that says? I can't even read that. Is that a D? I don't know. Oh. Oh, here we- Oh! We have a horizontal shmup! So if you hit A, he does that because I kill somebody. Oh, yeah, fuck him up. Here, here. Fuck him! Fuck him! That's how you get the guys on the bottom. Here, watch this. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out. Fuck! Also, it's not easy. Here. What? And you can't hold it down, it's a tapper. Like, Silver Surfer. Except that this is far more difficult. I don't know though, I, I will say though, you know, Silver Surfer's got very good music, but I don't know, this might, this might top it. This might have better music than Silver Surfer, don't you think? What I know, though, I'm not a music guy. What would I know? I'm only stupid. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? This, uh, so they're, these are God. Oh, no, they're not God! Oh, you can fucking destroy them. Okay. I thought that they were invincible. You know, it'd be awesome if you could, like, fucking kill these easier. This is fucking trash. This game. This is trash. If you can't tell. 
This is what we refer to in the video game industry as trash. Because clearly I am in the video game industry, don't you think? Oh, we got by him. Yes, all, all of us in the video game industry in 2022 are talking about um, Gluck, Gluck games. That's how you know. That's how you know that I'm, I'm part of the industry. <laughs> all right, uh, L Monster, let's go. It's gonna be good, here we go. I can tell, quality, we got it. Oh, it's Pang. <laughs> Super Buster Bros. It's a Super Buster Bros. clone. Is it even good as a clone? It's inspired by it! It's inspired by it, Mike! That's right, you're right, I'm wrong. Get, like, what? It's crap! A lot of games in S. Takes a while. All right. So this is Super Buster Bros, okay? Let's look at this now. Do you see, do you see him shooting ropes? So the, the rope goes from the bottom to the top so that when the balls come, you're shooting ropes and then the balls come and hit the ropes, right? See that? And then you can do two at once. You know, so I'm doing two at once and I'm shooting the ropes and that's how you're supposed to do it. Now over here, over here, in the land of Gluck, It was this one, right? Now this... There's not... You, there's no, you can't, you're not shooting ropes! This is fucking stupid! This is, that's the worst uh, port! There's gotta, there's gotta be something that I don't know. Hang on, there, wait, what? Hang on, it, it, it's not even playable like this. I'm like trying other things, like, what are you supposed to, what are, what are you in there? See, if you can shoot ropes, you fucking shoot ro ropes right onto those balls. And look, you're, you're fucked. And it has the fucking blue screen from Adventure I- Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. 
Is it like Hudson? Dude, like, f go fuck yourself if it's under Hudson. You know, this kind of shit is... I'm never playing video games again. Hudson's Adventure Island. Nintendo's The Legend of Zelda. Konami's Contra. Oh, Contra, what's that under? Oh, it's under... Con uh, like, Hudson's... All right, sorry. Look at that blue. See that blue? Did you see that blue? Okay. you ruin a game. That's how you do it. <sighs> wait, now, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. So this is, the, uh, these are, so these are published by Gluck and they are developed by different companies, I guess. What was the other one? Mega something? And this is developed by... It's developed by Micropenis. Ha <laughs> All right, one player. Stage one. Start! All right, here I, here I go. Nice, oh, good graphics, at least, don't you think? At least it's got really good graphics. Hang on, let me get the gummy berry juice. Can, can I, like, walk up there? Terminator was a bad game. Here comes this. I was talking the other day about like how does it get worse? Here we are. This is unplayable. This is not you. You can't even play this. Get get this out of my fucking face. This that's the worst thing I think I've ever seen. That was the worst one of these. Puzzle. Oh, puzzle. I have that cartridge somewhere. I own that game. I have seen this. I have seen this cartridge. All right, let's see this. Puzzle. One, one, I'm ready. Go ahead. Oh. All right, well, it's a tiger. It's a piss yellow block puzzle.
Okay, that is the worst. Wait a second, I just thought that was the worst. That is the worst, actually. That's the worst one. You can go back through my streams over the years and you can see many, many, many times I have talked about how I hate slide puzzles. That's a slide puzzle. But on top of it, it's an ugly one. Skate boy. Oh God, is this gonna be? Wait, that looks like an NES. That looks like... Oh, oh uh, TNC? Sir? Kind of? Well, I'm able to move... I'm able to go on... At least it's not like the skater die. At least I can, like, control it. It was that a piece of shit? There was like, like, okay, seriously, there was like a bloody piece of sh There's bloody. That's gross. You don't need that. And the whole area is covered in rats. A bunch of dirty, dirty rats and bloody shit? What is the point of this? Is that a donut? He throws donuts? Alright, okay, let's kill all the rats. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't- can, can, can he kill the shit? Oh, he's- he's invincible. Oh, man! You got- you got, like, an invincible... pit bull. A green one at that. What is the what is what is the point? Score. Okay, get a high, get. Okay, I'll get the score. Here we go. Okay, you can't hit them, I guess. No, seriously, like, what is that supposed to be? Is that a, oh, maybe they're frisbees. Why is video game poop always twisted like an ice cream cone? Is yours not? Doesn't it like come out like that? Like it, like it's uh, you know. Oh, uh, I just skinned my knee. Oh, look, look how good he is. He's gonna do kick flips. <laughs> this is, there's nothing, this is nothing. This is nothing. Tank. Boy. They really cared. Tank. sequel to um, that patent con game like insert into fucking box because that's what that this game is like that maybe this is the sequel to insert into fucking box it could be let's see Mistake. Volleyball. I, I, let's see. How bad could you screw up volleyball? It should, should even on Atari. They have a they have real sports volleyball on Atari Twenty Six Hundred. It's actually a very fun game. It, for as for as multiplayer games go on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, real sports volleyball is pretty fun. 
So if Atari can do it, the NES should be able to do it. Let's see. It's just Venice Beach. Is this stolen? Bambi. <laughs> So like, wait a second. might be a first. So that that game is just straight up stolen. The other ones at least I think they made for the system. They that one they're just like we're just going to steal it. So it might be all right as a volleyball game, but it's a it's a real it's a it they stole it. So that doesn't even count. Karate presents. And also, isn't this one too? Wait a second. Wait, War in the Gulf. Isn't that it? Isn't that an NES game too? This is from something, isn't it? I think. Recognize it? Alright, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, Megasoft? Maybe it's not. Okay, I think this is a real one. Okay, and it's a horizontal shmup. There's a lot of shmups on this. Oh, you can hold the button down. Okay. What is this going back here? Like, that like follows behind you? Okay. All right, we're getting an item. This is like the same as the fucking Maya the Bee thing, kind of. Any other weapons? I want to know. I mean, if you got like a whole bunch of weapons, this could maybe slightly redeem itself, you know? Like, maybe? Like, imagine if you started shooting that, like, uh, sort of like spiral red and blue, like, laser from R type or something like that. Like, that'd be sweet. What, do you, what are the chances of getting something like that? What are the chances this is gonna turn good? Oh, wait. Now what's that? Wait, let's go, let's, I'm gonna see what this is. Oh, that's... Oh, we got an upgrade. Oh, okay, we did get an upgraded shot. I'm trying to be as fair as I can be. So there is an upgraded shot. Is there anything else? Is that as much as they did? I got a one up. Like, okay, what, what is this? It's like the same thing. You like how the background doesn't... I'm surprised that the clouds are even like moving like that. At least it has that. It's your like kind of parallax scrolling. 
I guess. <laughs> Barely. Oh, now I can't hold it down? Now I have to tap? Okay, let's see. We got a boss? Oh, there's no boss. There's no boss? And now we're on another level. They're they don't even have bosses. That's fucking stupid. Maybe one, I'm gonna give it a little bit more. I'm trying my best to be fair here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yo, it's fucking UN Squadron. Never mind. Oh, this is just like UN Squadron. I'm gonna get an angry comment like, this is nothing like UN Squadron. How dare you compare UN Squadron to this shit? I know. This is fucking trash. All right, so what do we have here? So this one, let's see if I can even remember what they were. This one was Joust. I don't remember what that was. I don't remember that. This was like the Pac-Man one. I think this is the Maya the Bee one. I don't even remember what else. this. The, oh, d d the Destructor. But it's destroy. On this screen, it says Destroyer. And here, it's Destructor. All right. So out of all of these, uh, let's talk about the best and the worst. The best. The best, I guess, is the B game. This, this is the best. This one, this is the, this is the best one. The worst one is this. Oh, that's the ugliest color. And then it's, it sounds like you're, it's just somebody's continually popping little farts into the microphone. Here, you want to hear, you want to hear a bunch of farts? Here you go. Who wants to hear a bunch of farts? I was like trying for one second. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna try to play it. And the fucking, when you go to like pick stuff up, the way like it drops shit is like not how it should be. Oh my God. Whew. All right, uh, that, that is that might be about it for Gluck games. So let's take the game that I considered the best. Here we go. And I'm gonna give this game one more good go since it's all Gluck has. This is Gluck. Benny, go. The chat says, go block yourself. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. The best Gluck video had to offer. We went through them all. Let's see if I can get any further. Then I got, oh fuck. I want to know, like, did I do something? Wait, you know what I want to know? I want to know if I am fully powered up, can I kill that spider quicker? Maybe he only took so long to kill. Because I wasn't fully powered up. 
there. That's what I, th that's what I want to know. Listen, I've been thinking about this Gluck stuff for 20 years. If you want to know what's been on my mind for the last 20 years, it's this. I wish I, I could say I was kidding. I just never got around to it until now. Alright, I don't want to lose this power up. I want to see if I can kill this enemy quicker. I, I wish you could hold the button down, like, wouldn't that be nice? That'd be great. Oh boy, there's an extra life. Just what we need. If we were still doing the podcast, this I would bring this game, and I'd be like, and so this this would be what I'd say. I'd be like, all right, so you know, all right, what do you, what do you, what's your game? What do you got? And he's like, oh, uh, Demon Souls, and he's got like, you know, a bunch of notes and stuff. And then people say to me, I would have like, uh, he'd, Ryan would have notes, right? And then and then I come and I would play like. Um, Paperboy or something. So I would just do it off the top of my head because I didn't need notes for Paperboy. And then people would say, Mike, you don't even care. Ryan's got all these notes and you didn't you didn't even bother to write anything down. It's like, well, I, I didn't need to because I knew that it was in my head. I didn't need to write it down. So I'm like, okay, fine. You want me to write notes? So then I, then I write notes. Then I come in and I got like eight pages of notes. And then they say, and then you know what they say? They say, oh, Mike, Mike doesn't even care about this show anymore. He's just reading off of notes. You can't, you cannot win. Where's your notes, Mike? What, don't you care? Oh, okay, this week I wrote a ton of notes. Oh, you don't, you don't care. You're only reading off of notes. You know what? Go fuck yourself. All right, here comes the spider. He died way quicker. It is true. All right. I have figured out the methods on how to play my the B Gluck game. Yeah, oh yeah, so this is what I would say. I'd come in and I'd be like, so in this game there's a spider and you gotta shoot him and then you get like a upgrade and then you can kill him quicker if you get the upgrade. See you next week. be good. But what does it all mean? But what does what mean? This? There's the bug and he's shooting stuff. That's what it means. Tier one sub. Do I have this 
Steam Deck yet. I, I did not grab it yet, but I want to get it. I'll get it at some point. I'm not quite as much into collecting the handhelds as I am consoles and stuff, um, but I'll, I'll probably grab it eventually, maybe, I guess. I'm not really in a big hurry. See, the thing is, is I have Steam, Steam on my computer, so I don't really need it. So I started playing Returnal a little bit on um, PlayStation 5, and so far, um, I like it. So so far, you know, it's like a, a roguelike, and uh, it's you know it's pretty cool. It's it, it's like fine, and um, but then I was like, but I could couldn't I download this game on like Steam and play it? I know that you can't because it's an exclu that's an exclusive game. But what I mean is like. Isn't that like could isn't that technically possible? Couldn't you play that game on a computer? If they let's say they released Returnal on Steam. Like technically, you could play that on a computer, right? So why the only reason is because if you want to play some specific games, they're just exclusive there. I guess Nintendo does a lot of that though. Like if you want to play their uh, Breath of the Wild or whatever, so you gotta have the you gotta have the Switch, right? If you want to do that, so I guess the same shit, right? But I guess what I mean is like, from a technical perspective, is there something that the PlayStation Five can do that the that your computer can't do? Like honestly, I don't know. Maybe that maybe there is. Maybe there's not. I don't know. What what can the PS5 do that my computer can't do? I would like to know, honestly. Not not being shitty about it, like. PC is always more powerful. take up space in your living room? Um, well, the, they both take up space. The, I mean, the computer takes up more space, but this thing takes up space too. They both take up space. So we'll call it equal on that one. Plays says, I guess maybe it can process games better unless you have a great PC. I have a very good PC, so like, like it's like, isn't it just like get, just get a really good PC and then you're done, right? And then just keep always just keep your PC like up to date with the latest stuff, and then like why even do anything else? I don't know. I'll tell you know, what. I'll tell you what. You, you, wait, I got something for you. The NES will always be the same though, because it's like it's always the NES is always the NES, and it'll never change. But like the more modern systems, like the Switch or the PS5 or the PS4 and all this stuff, you'll download games or whatever, or certain games will eventually stop working, or they're connected to. Um, you know, servers and stuff. Like, let's say, like, Tetris 99, right? Like, someday that game probably won't work on these systems. But the NES, you put the game in from now until the end of the fucking time. When the sun burns this fucking planet away, the NES will still operate the same fucking way forever. But these, they're not, oh, it's not, you're not connected to the internet. You can't do the update anymore. It's, it's broken. That's why these, Genesis, Super Nintendo, NES, are better. 
better. They're better. Now, let's take, I'm just using the example of Tetris 99. So let's say someday, and I like that game, uh, but so let's say someday they take down like the servers for that, right, or whatever. Then it's left up to, uh, that, that little like thing is like so stupid. Um, then it's left up to fans at that point. And, I, and I'm sure some, there will be like a fan community out there and they'll be like, oh, you, but you can still play it because some fan will do it. And that's great. But what I'm saying is the system themselves, they'll stop doing it. And they, they do this kind of stuff all the time. It's like they take down the eShops and they take down, you know, all that stuff. And then everybody freaks out, right? It happens like once a year or something. It's like, oh, no, uh, pretty soon you won't be able to download games on the, uh, you know, the PS3 store anymore or whatever. You won't be able to get those, uh, you know, WiiWare games anymore. You won't be able to get this. You won't be able to get that. You know what? I got, I got, I put the games in the NES. Works forever. Works forever. Are we good with the Gluck games? I think I played all of the Gluck games. I have nothing more to say about Gluck. Do you want to see any more of these? Or are, are, are we done with Gluck? I think we're done. Yes, please? Okay, what one do you want? Link to the Shaft. Good on Gluck? Yes? No. No, you're not. What the Gluck? <laughs> All right. Um, so, um... So yeah, uh, you know what? Also, by the way, I played like a little bit of this. So far, I didn't really care for it, uh, The Ascent. Uh, Returnal I like, so I might stream that, and Demon Souls, uh, maybe maybe eventually. I'm probably going to fuck with them a little bit um, on my own before I stream those, uh, so yeah, maybe I'll probably get to doing PS5 uh, eventually, but it, it, that probably won't be the, the next stream, but I don't know. Uh, you know what I want to do? Uh, I might do Legend of Zelda Doom next. So that might be next stream. For now, I am going to go, and I will see you guys next time for probably something Doom, I would imagine. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.